Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create chromatic aberration changes and effect in Femora 10. Okay, so I think this uh, transition is very simple and you can create it in one or two minutes or stuff like that. And uh, if you don't have Femora 10, I will put the link to download the software at the, uh, at the description and also my special discount coupon code for this software too. Okay, so let's go to the software. Okay, so now I'm inside Femora 10 and uh, I have some clips on the timeline already. And this is the first one, the harbor and uh, this is a girl and another mountain. So we are going to uh, create changes and effect at this position and this position. The same, the same changes and effect, dramatic aberration changes and effect. Okay, but uh, there are two solutions for that. And uh, to add the changes and uh, effect at this po uh, position, we're going to the, the effect tab and then go to the recommended folder. And we can easily see the chromatic aberration effect here, right here. So uh, all we need to do is just drag and, and drag and drop this, this effect uh, to the timeline and put it at the top track. So we are going to just drag and drop it and put it right here. Yeah, at this position, I think. And the next thing, we want to shorten the duration of this effect to 12 frame, 12, 12 frame, okay? And to do that, we can right click at the effect and select duration. And type the number right here, zero, and then we can type 12, one, two, at this position. And then click OK. Okay, and now you can position it uh, right between two clips or the timeline. And technically, it is done. And if you want to adjust the, uh, the chromatic aberration effect, you can double click at this effect on the timeline. And maybe you can uh, reduce the fade and unfold number here. By the way, we can reduce the fade to 0.25. Okay. And the next thing, we want to add some some kind of glitch effect uh, to this one. And we can find the glitch effect at the same folder. Glitch and enter. And now we can throw our mouse to the down here we, we can see some glitch effect okay so i'm going to use this one and just put it right here and then we can shorten it too and that is finished so that is the first uh, chromatic aberration transition effect in femora 10 and maybe we need to add some glitch sound effect to this uh, to this position so i go back to my audio and then uh, go to my music uh, I have some glitch sound effect here, by the way, I'm going to use this one. Yeah, I think this one looks fine. So just drag and drop it and put it at this position. And also shorten it to 12 and lower the, the volume of this one. So this is the first one. The first uh, chromatic aberration transition effect in Femora 10. Okay, so let's render it first. 2000 years later. Okay, and let's preview the first transition effect. Ooh, very nice, right? And for the second one, we don't uh, we want to add the, a shake effect to this transition, and we can use the same. So maybe we can copy this one and paste it uh, at this position. But uh, I'm going to lock this track and paste it here. And now I go. I'm going to add a shake effect to this one. So the same. Go to effect and then uh, we can find the filter here uh, go to filter and then we can see shake effect uh, so i'm going to use the sideway number two by the way you can use any any shake effect just drag and drop it right here and then we can shorten shorten the shake effect okay and i think it is uh, too it is too shaky so we can just uh, adjust the shake effect a little bit and we can double click at the sideway and now we want to reduce the frequency yeah maybe 300 or something like that 300 and enter and also we need the same sound effect so we are going to copy this one and paste this one at this position okay so that is finished 
and that is how you can create a chromatic aberration transition effect in Filmora 10. I hope this video is helpful for you and I will put the result, the result at the end of the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye!